and Prail on the conference and the controversy overshadowing current talks. Not looking good, everybody. At COP28, it's life or death for the future of fossil fuels. We need to phase out fossil fuels within a time frame compatible with limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The core question, if the world can continue using oil and gas with emissions reducing technology, or if they're becoming exactly what they're made of, relics of the past. This industry is way more effective at capturing politicians than they are at capturing emissions. Sunday, these resurfaced comments from the head of COP28 pushing back on a complete phase out, igniting a firestorm of criticism from climate activists. Show me a roadmap for a phase out of fossil fuel that will allow, that will allow for socio, for sustainable socio-economic development, unless you want to take the world back into caves. More than 100 countries have signed on to a statement that aims to include the phase-out of unabated fossil fuels as part of the COP28 negotiated outcomes. Canada's carbon management strategy relies heavily on emission abatement methods like carbon capture and storage. But in a statement to CTV News, a spokesperson for Energy Minister Jonathan Wilkinson writing, as we move towards net zero by 2050, it cannot simply be business as usual, add carbon capture and stir. The government instead pointing to upcoming framework for an oil and gas emissions cap as the main solution something that could be announced by the end of COP28. We've made progress on the climate crisis, but we've taken baby steps when we need to be running. The Canadian government still expects to use some fossil fuels by 2050, but didn't answer when asked if they believe a complete phase-out is necessary to keep warming at one and a half degrees. Heather. Colton, thank you.